So I asked you on my website what material I should use in my next project. Wood, epoxy, crayons. And you chose wood? Really? I wasn't expecting that. I guess we can make a Deadpool project. What am I supposed to do with all these crayons? So I've got three pieces of hardwood, walnut, maple, and bloodwood. I needed a few of these, and I, I might actually need a couple more. And it's a little spray adhesive. And I can cut that out on the bandsaw, since I am just cutting around the edge here, and I'm not making any inside cuts. So with the maple background cut, we're done with that wood. The next is going to be the walnut, and the walnut is just going to be his face here, but not the rest of it. So just these two half circles, which are normally black, but we're going to do in walnuts, the darkest wood I have. And then the blood wood we're going to use for this outer ring, so we can cut out all this inside stuff. And I'm also going to use it for the sword handles. Any other negatives, which are these diamonds in the sword handles and Wade's eyes, will be the maple showing through the piece. Um, Wade, your face is full of holes. Yeah, he's not surprised at all. So I am a scroll saw novice. This is actually technically my first project with the scroll saw. So I'm keeping it simple to begin with. All right, we got a fresh new blade. This is a number five um, reverse tooth scroll saw blade. Thanks to Fabian's Tiny Workshop for suggesting the replacement. Thumb screw is a lot easier to use than, than having to tighten this every time with an Allen wrench. Thanks, Fabian. So here we go, most of our pieces, they don't all fit perfectly, but <laughs> that's what sandpaper is for. Aiming for perfection on your first scroll saw project is probably a little lofty, but um, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. I'm really happy with the gap over here, it's got a nice little line on it. Seems to mate up really well, and now I just need to do a little work on this side. Alright, a little bit of glue. Just make sure not to overdo it. You don't want squeeze out coming out of the eyes here. Alright, and we'll wait for that to dry before moving on to the next step. And so everything has been cut away on the outside and now we just need to remove that little bit from the inside. It seems almost fitting to make a Deadpool project where something ugly is covered up. There, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Now I've just had these two sitting in a little warm water bath. It makes the epoxy flow a little easier. Sometimes after you've had them for a while they tend to uh, be harder to get out of the bottle. So a little warm water bath before you use it makes the working condition a lot easier. All right. You can see I've got a little bit of squeeze out in there. No big deal. I'm going to try to clean that up with a scratch all and then I'll let this set for the epoxy to harden. Here it is out of clamps and uh, we're just going to clean up your face a little bit, Wade. Well, I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. A little bit of hand sanding, and we'll move on to a finish. Sanding time. You're not even close to done this for. 
grits more. Okay, so this was sanded to 400 grit. Uh, it does take a little time, but it is so worth it. For the finish, I'm going to turn to my favorite, wipe on polyurethane. Oh yeah, yeah. Here it is with a couple coats of finish, and I'll probably add just one more. So, why did I build a Deadpool spatula? Yeah, so February of last year, I made the Batman spatula. The Bachelor, and Mark Spagnolo featured this on his website, and I basically said, you know, I'm going to send one out to you, but I found out he didn't like Batman. Now that's a whole different conversation, but I told him I'd make him a Deadpool one. Well, my CNC machine died, and the idea died along with it. So fast forward to this year, I got my scroll saw, and the Deadpool movie was coming out, and I thought, why not revive that old idea? You can sharpen up one edge and turn it into a chimichanga knife. I've also had a lot of people call it a palette knife, which I guess they use for decorating cake. And I think a Deadpool cake would be pretty awesome. But I don't really need another one of these. I like my bachelor. So I'm going to give it away. And it's not a contest. And you don't have to tweet anything, follow me, like anything, or sign up for any newsletter. Send me money on Patreon. Visit my sponsor, because I don't have one. All you have to do is leave a comment on my website build article. I'll put the link down in the description. And that's just so that people commenting down below in this video don't get entered if they don't want to be. I'll do the drawing... I'll do the drawing Friday. Uh, that's the day the new movie comes out. So. I'll do the drawing on Friday at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. If you're interested in it, leave a comment there. The plugin will automatically pick somebody. I'll shoot them an email. I'll send them out the spatula. Nothing else to it. All right, that's all I got. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like this, share it. That actually helps me out a lot. And next week, I expect to be back in the epoxy business.